Leandra, quite uh, a crazy weekend you guys had. Um, we've been hearing the story in the news uh, about you guys getting uh, lost in that storm on, on the lake. A- at what point did you realize that you were lost and, and kind of in trouble? Um, that would be when we uh, left the ice shack. That was our first mistake of um, leaving in the storm. But um, 30 seconds into driving, that's when it it just took a turn for the worst. It, uh, you couldn't see in front of you anymore, and um, we had stopped, and uh, we both had our breakdown moment there. Um, we couldn't see the tracks behind us anymore, so we couldn't even turn around. So we just kept driving straight, hopefully hitting the shore that our vehicle was at, and um, that, that uh, we, we didn't hit it. When you said you each had your breakdown moment, what do you mean? What were you thinking during that time? What were you feeling? Um, we started running out of fuel in the middle of the lake and knowing in that we were lost and we were probably not going to hit the shore that we came off of. Um, yeah. It must have been so disorienting with all that blowing snow. You couldn't see anything. Like, not even, the, you put your hand in front of you, you kind of could even see it. It was just so cold and it was blowing so hard. So when you got to what uh, was the shore, actually more of a swamp, and, and, yes. and you hunkered down with your dog, and yes. Danny went to go get help, and now you're there by yourself, what did that feel like? Um, well, I actually didn't uh, know he had left. He just heard um, a noise, and he just kept following it, and he was already halfway there. And by the time he could turn around and tell me that you know he's, he's going, the sound could be gone. So he just kept walking, hoping for the best, and... Um, at that point, uh, my mind uh, was just so cold already. My mind just started doing crazy things, and it's it's true what they say. Like it was, like that was that was my moment of yeah, I'm stuck here like by myself and with my dog, and that's that. I was just so cold already. I could even soak the fire and get wood. And did you ever think you'd see him again? Um, I did after a half hour, and then I started losing hope. Yeah. And what was that feeling like when uh, the person that he went to go see came there on his snowmobile to find you? Uh, that was a sheer joy. <laughs> I uh, I heard a snowmobile coming, and uh, with what little effort I did have, I got up and I went to go in the open area, in the open lake, where I thought I heard the noise coming from, and uh, and I seen somebody, and they were just doing circles, and I tried yelling, and he didn't hear me, and then... I couldn't see him anymore, and then the snowmobile stopped, and I thought he left, and I just collapsed right there because I couldn't walk back to the fire, and it was just, it was so, so cold. You had your little dog with you, too. <laughs> yeah. How's your dog? Um, he's good. He's getting better. He just started picking up his toys again. Um, he almost died. <laughs> oh, no. He got to the point where he just stood up, and he was falling over, and yeah. The effort. And Danny kept him warm the whole time. Pardon? Danny kept him warm the whole time. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So the effort that was put together to find you guys was massive. How did yes. that make you feel? Um, I, I, words cannot explain that. We're just so thankful and grateful and that we have everybody in our lives that we do. So who specifically would you like to thank for this weekend? Oh, where to begin? Um, we'd like to thank everyone who came out for us. Um, we'd like to especially thank our brother Doug for keeping his composure and organizing all the stuff out there on Sunday night. And Mike Penner for getting all the fire guys and search and rescue there and all the people he got out there. We'd also like to thank uh, our brother Dylan for assaulting his Jeep and the efforts to get out the, get all the sleds out there and get on the ice to shine his bright lights on the beacon. Um, a huge thank you is Learn, uh, Laird for Birch Point Resort. Um, his keeping his storm up all night and open all night and um, giving them warm food and coffee and the gas pumps going. Uh, Mike and Lynn, who took care of us once we found their house and brought us to the hospital and got our snowmobile out of the bush. And just a huge thank you to our family and friends one more time. It's just amazing to know that at the drop of a hat that uh, there's so many people out there in the cold looking for us. It just amazes us to know how much everyone cares and what good friends we have. Well, we are so thrilled that this story has a happy ending. Thank you so much. Absolutely.